I'm standing in the middle of Las Vegas Boulevard right now. What's up guys, welcome to the Strip of Las Vegas. It is currently 3.30 in the morning. I am here because of this car that is rolling past me right now. This is the Smart Vision EQ for two. So this is what the future looks like, literally. This is a car that's a concept car that's supposed to be out sometime in 2025 to 2030. And a lot of times what these car companies do is they come out with their vision and they make something that shows what the future is going to look like. And that's what this car is. So today, Mercedes gave me and my friends, Zach and Jared, an opportunity to come out here in the middle of the night. They literally shut down the strip. The police are here, they barricaded up the road, and we get to go on a ride in this car and we're gonna bring you guys along and show you a little bit what the future looks like when it comes to autonomous driving. All right, good news. We've got our friend Wolfgang with us. If you remember from Portugal, Hi. you were the one that showed us everything about the concept EQ car. That was really cool. He's the one that brought us up here. Thank you, Wolfgang. You're welcome. Tell us a little bit about this. You are, you do a lot of the electric car, which is the EQ line. Exactly. What? This is also a kind of an EQ car. It's a Vision EQ42. I'm not the main responsible person for it, but I can tell you it's also an electric car. This time fully autonomous. It doesn't have a steering wheel and it has great other features, which you can learn later on. Currently, if you have assistant driving systems, it's level two okay. up to level three a bit. So we're pushing for level three in the next car generation. This car should be level four, even level five. So this means fully autonomous, no driver in there, no steering wheel. Uh, we posted a video recently on our drive down here to CES and our Tesla has autopilot version two and that's, they call it autopilot. I think Mercedes does probably a better job at saying assisted driving where instead of calling it full on autopilot because really you need to pay attention. It's a helping you on the lanes, but you don't want to pay attention because it's definitely not going to protect you from everything. Okay, so I'm seeing a few things on this smart car. It has all of this, it has the headlights. This is Ari and she works on the team that developed this Smart Vision EQ for two. What is the, what's going on with these lights? It has lighting on the doors, it has lighting on the eyes that blink up. So um, the headlights are supposed to communicate with you. It's a shared car. It comes to your home, it picks you up. You don't own it, but it's like, it looks very human. Uh, when it picks you up, it blinks at you. And it just says hi and the front grille shows your profile. So it's supposed to show that technology is friendly and an autonomous car can be friendly so you don't have to be afraid and yeah. it makes you feel like you can own it. One question, if you're in the car, what happens if it shuts down or it hits like, say some dog runs out in front of us and we hit it? Like do we have control of the door or if it looked like there's something dangerous, could we actually stop the car? The first vision is we have sensors and software that kind of prevents it from hitting anything. And second thing is there must be some kind of fleet management. By your mobile device, you can still control the doors and open You can it. still control the doors yes, with your course. phone. Yeah, with oh, your phone. Oh, nice. Yes. Open and close the doors. Okay. It's time for me to try what level five autonomous driving would be like and what it is like. So this is a Smart Vision EQ for two. It's time to make this happen. And because it's for two, I gotta have Mr. Zach, Jerry Rig, everything. Are you ready? Can we fit in this? Yes, I am. Let's do it. <sighs> All right. It's cozy. This is it. Um, obviously, our names are not David and Kate today, but if this were the working car, these would be my, our profiles and it would be personalized to us. And so the lighting in here would be personalized to us. There will be an armrest in the middle so that if it picked up somebody, oh, here goes the door. Okay, that was cool. All right, we're going on our first ride right now. This is it, level five, dude. This is, we just chill, just hang out. Car takes us where we want to go. When it signals, it uh, says it all over the car outside. I mean, imagine like level five autonomous driving. You can do whatever you want in this car. You can sleep, watch a movie, text. You don't need to pay attention. To some that may scare them, but just know by the time that this is actually available and it's something that people can use, it will be properly vetted and it should be super safe, maybe even safer than what a bunch of humans do. I, on the way to here, I rode in a taxi. We literally almost crashed twice in 10 minutes. So <laughs> level five autonomous driving, I think I may trust a little bit more. It's important to know this is a concept car, so it's not fully functional right now the way that it will be working once it's once it's out at some point. So I'm sure that the air will be figured out and won't be as foggy. But Zach's a big dude. He's got <laughs> some big shoulders. He works out a lot. and. 
I'm six foot three. I'm a pretty big guy too. There's plenty of room in here for the two of us. I know it says four two. I wonder if we could fit three in here. Like if we had little Lincoln in here in the middle, yeah, I think we, we could, could do, do three. It. I bet we could do three. Look at the way these doors open. This is the future right here. <laughs> this is one of the coolest things I've seen at CES for sure. There we go. Okay, so good news. I get a ride on it again. Um, it is a smart car for two. So I'm bringing my other buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jared. how's What's up, going? Jared? I kept the seat warm for you. Hope that's <laughs> Thank all right. You. I feel like it, they should have a sound like a like a. a Listen, there's a sound like, like a that. spaceship. Like yeah. we're on a spaceship and the thing like, just closed the airlock. Yeah, the airlock. We're ready. That's right. Close <laughs> the pod bay doors. And that's the thing is like we're we're experiencing a little bit of the future right now. Like it may not look exactly like this, but it's gonna be pretty darn close. Yeah. Which I'll tell you, like from the aspect of thinking about my our kids' future. Yeah. Um, I'm I was I'm a little terrified for when my kids are driving. Like, what if they're distracted drivers? A lot right. of kids are distracted drivers. They need to put their phones down. Well, in this, you know, you just the car will come and pick up your kids, take them to school. Uh -huh. You know that they're gonna be safe. Sorry, we fucked it up in there a little bit. So when it comes to pricing and availability of this, there's no pricing at this point of what it might actually look like in the future. But again, this could be something where you could see an entire fleet of cars driving down the street. That was really cool. I hope you guys like this. We have more electric cars and more cool things from CES coming. I don't know how you top shutting down the strip and riding in an autonomous car down Las Vegas Boulevard, but um, we'll see what we can do. So stay tuned for that.